Hey guys, Jeremiah from Colorado Springs here with a world record size trap on a Venus fly trap. This one just broke the all time record and it is 61 millimeters, so 2.4 inches. It is the largest Venus fly trap ever grown. I have been growing Venus fly traps since I was about five years old. My parents got me my first one after helping on a rental house remodeling that they told me at home depot if i behaved myself and helped out they would get me anything i wanted within reason so i picked out a small venus fly trap from home depot and i was just fascinated so i have been growing venus fly traps non-stop ever since then um, i have three greenhouses and one of the world's largest private collections of carnivorous plants i've been just fascinated with all the different varieties when I first heard Barry Rice was looking for a world record Venus flytrap, I submitted a couple photos in June of last year and thought, oh, this one seems like a pretty good size one. And then when I heard back in September that my uh, five centimeter trap broke the all-time world record, I was just so excited. I have been reading the Guinness Book of World Record ever since I was a kid and had almost every year's edition from the late 90s through the early 2000s, so it was always a dream of mine to maybe one day hold a world record. Little did I know it might come in what I'm actually so passionate about, carnivorous plants. So this one, a common misconception about Venus flytraps is they come from some tropical rainforest, but in actuality, they come from only a very small radius, about 100 miles in North and South Carolina. And they are very much endangered due to habitat, habitat destruction and poaching. So this clone I've been growing for about eight years now, and it is called Alien. So there's only one species of Venus flytraps, but over the years, people have pulled out all the different anomalies. Maybe this one gets super big, this one gets super red, it has big teeth, it has no teeth. Uh, they just all will look a little bit different. So right now, I grow over 200 different varieties of Venus flytrap, with Alien being my all-time biggest. Um, a few things I'm also passionate about is going out and seeing these plants in the wild. They have taken me to every continent other than Antarctica, uh, going to look for them in the Australian outback in Kimberley, to climbing uh, mountains in Southeast Asia and finding rare species of pitcher plants at around 6,000 feet in elevation. Um, here are some of my favorite varieties I have all around me and they are just spectacular. Uh, thank you everyone. A couple tricks on growing Venus flytraps. Uh, they like a ton of light. That is the biggest problem I see new growers make is they think they're at, from tr some tropical rainforest, but no, they like blasted with sunlight all day long. So give it plenty of light Keep it sitting in about a half inch of very pure water. They don't like any minerals or dissolved solids in the water. So a lot of places around the country have to use uh, distilled or rainwater. Uh, reverse osmosis water also works really well. And then I treat these with about a quarter strength seaweed based fertilizer to get some of my biggest traps first thing in the spring when they start growing. Well, thank you so much. Uh, check out Jeremiah's plants uh, on TikTok, Instagram, and all over the web. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Thank you so much, Guinness. It has been a dream of mine to be in the book of records ever since I was a little kid. Thanks, guys.